Hey everyone, and welcome back to Ontario Vintage Tractor. Uh, some time ago, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that this is my main hay tractor, with the, the old WD that I bought for 300 bucks once upon a time. Um, what I've done to this tractor so I can run my new idea baler is I've added a set of remotes to it. Uh, that way we can run two-way hydraulics. Now, this video is gonna be a review of kind of how I did it, how I revised it, and what I think of it. So stay tuned, here we go. Alright, so if you've ever done any farming with an old Alice, you'll know that back in the day all they had was a, a one-line hydraulic setup. Uh, it was power up, gravity down. Um, being that we run these hay binds with some older tractors still, we still do the same thing for the hay binds. We just run one line, gravity down, power up. That works just fine. But for the baler, I needed it to go up and power down. And I tried to run our Gel 1310 baler and it's got dual cylinders instead of a single one for lifting the door and this doesn't quite have enough capacity to run two cylinders uh, being that these were high pressure low volume and those systems are high volume with a lower pressure so i've been told anyway um, but for the single cylinders it works perfect uh, it runs that 483 baler we have and the hay binds and everything just fine so i'll get into a little bit of how i did it on these old Alice's, you basically have one lever to control your hydraulics, which your throttle's over here, and then this would be your hydraulic control that engages the pump and uh, would effectively raise your hydraulics. That would hold them in the center, and that would drop them. So what I've done is I've plumbed in a spool valve over here, and we have a feed coming off of the factory Alice hydraulic pump. And that goes into our spool and then out of the spool we have a return to tank which i don't know if you can see it here amongst all the wiring but under there so that line right there goes to back to return to tank from the spool and then to turn these on what you have to do is come back to your regular hydraulics put them in the the up position to engage the pump and I've got a shut off here. So you'll turn your shut off on to allow flow and then you run it like a normal spool valve. You got your up down as well as both remotes. Like I said, with the hay bind, we're only running one right now. Now, when I first did this, I didn't have this shut off, which at the time I still had a three point hitch on this tractor. And when I would go to use the hydraulics, because it's a lot higher pressure to lift, it wouldn't lift. So I ended up adding the shutoff so I can remove that from the system and still use my three-point hitch as well. Uh, I found that that's really the only revision I made and it made a huge difference. So uh, what I'll do here is uh, fire the tractor back up and show you how it works.
just like that, you flip the, uh, the lever to bypass that spool valve again, and your hydraulics will work like normal, which I need to on this tractor because I have a loader as well, as you've seen. I use this for picking up round bells off the field as well. Well, that's it for this episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. That's how I added remotes for the spool valve to my tractor. The better way to do it, if you have an engine drip and pump and a separate reservoir, then that would be ideal. But for an economical way to do it, and it works for me with the equipment that I have, that's what we went with. And I've been running that setup for about three years now, I think. I'll go back and see when I started the video. Two or three years anyway. And I've had no issues other than having to add that shutoff valve. So it's a good way to do it if you're only running one cylinder. Like I said, you should have an engine driven pump and that would make things a lot more efficient as well as being able to push the clutch in and have live hydraulics without using the hand clutch. But as always, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, we're probably going to get to raking pretty soon. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.